Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 28th through January 3rd, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid. These readings can happen at any time, okay, and not every reading is for you, so, you know, take what resonates and leave the rest, and remember... This reading may not be for you. Let's let's see what comes up. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Overall energy. Happy New Year. The Star. So the star is protection. It's help arriving after the tower falls. So this is protection. It's purpose. It's renewal. It's healing. It's wish fulfillment. So this is getting a wish granted. So a wish is probably going to be granted during this time. You are protected. There's help arriving. This is shining. Some of you could be dealing with, or there's famous becoming, this, this, this can be a star, you know, somebody could uh, be becoming famous or they could be seeing somebody that is famous. But this is also shining. So I feel like you're going to be shining during this time. Glowing. I mean, this is a wish being granted of some sort. The stars are very beautiful, so you could be dealing with, if it's not you that is shining, if it's not your beauty that is shining, you are dealing with somebody that is shining. That you know, I don't know if there's somebody that is famous is, that is here, or somebody that is a star, or you wished upon a star and your wish is being granted. This is guaranteed success. This is a blessing in disguise after the tower has fallen. So you may have experienced, you know, a tower moment, which is a faded event that, you know, cleaned out your foundation. You know, you maybe you were in some sort of false sense of security relationship or partnership or home or environment or something like that. And everything crumbled down, and now a wit this happened for a reason. This is it was a blessing in disguise. So anyway, I mean that is that's a very beautiful energy of you know getting something that you asked for. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe you were protected. You know, there's protection here. Hidden secrets can harm you. So if there's some hidden secrets, they could they could come to light this week. Rat! Someone working against you behind your back. Oh boy, Scorpio. It's interesting. You have the star card, which is it comes after a tower moment. So I'm not there there, you know. This is fame. So I'm not sure what is going on. Uh, there is someone working behind your back. There's some hidden secrets and the hidden secrets are going to come out. Now, I don't know. This could be somebody else's secrets. It doesn't, I mean, it could be. It could be. All right. Um, very interesting. So what do we what do we have for Scorpio? Someone is working behind your back. Not good. I mean, it's really not good. I might just use that for the thumbnail. You got somebody here that is probably going to reveal a secret of some sort. 
What do we have for Scorpio? Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. The Fool. So the Fool is, is uh, starting a new journey, a new beginning. Starting with a clean slate. I feel like there's going to be a tower moment because I brought it up. There's going to be a tower moment. There's going to be an event that uh, shines the light on something. But consider this a blessing in disguise that this gets comes out because it's going to embark you on a new journey. Okay, this is this is an opportunity to start fresh, to start with a clean slate. It's this, you know, the fool leaves everything behind, you know, to start a new journey. This is an exciting time. It's a time of movement. Okay, so get prepared for some movement this week. You're going to be leaving something behind because the fool doesn't take much with them. This is really literally starting over, starting with a clean slate. Starting from zero, starting from scratch. Abandoned success, eight of cups. So something is going to be, dis you're going to be there's disappointment here. This is this is a success. It says abandoned success on the card, so this is something that isn't going to be successful. Um, it, you may have thought that it was going to be successful, but it's not. But but whatever is happening, whatever is happening, you're headed towards wish fulfillment. Okay, you're headed towards something b brighter. Okay, so what is this eight of cups? Seven of Cups. Illusionary success. So this is an illusion. Somebody has been, uh, there's been some falseness here. Illusions are falseness. Somebody has been in their illusions. They have been unable to see clearly. They've been confused. They've made some poor choices. There's consequences here. Seven of Cups is consequences for not being realistic. You know, somebody's been in some sort of um, disappointing situation where they've been thinking that, you know, everything is going to work out. It didn't work out or it's not working out for a reason. This is false. It's false um, beginnings, you know. Beware of false beginnings. Somebody got themselves involved in some sort of illusion. They did. We got illusionary success and abandoned success. So this is leaving behind an illusion. You're this is like a wake up call of some sort. There's no success in this illusionary situation. And there's a poor choice. Somebody made a poor choice because of their illusions. Anyway, the fool is starting from scratch, leaving it all behind. So this is saying goodbye to the um a false sense of security, whatever it is. Ten of Pentacles. Now that is wealth. Prosperity. The moon. And the three of Pentacles reversed. So all is not as it seems. Something is about to be revealed. Okay, like I said, something is about to be revealed. Something has been hidden. You're, you've been working with somebody that is not your friend. Okay, there's somebody here that is a hater. This person is wearing a disguise. They're not your friend. So, so you have somebody that is not on the same page as you. This person um, is going to reveal something. They're going to reveal something that... Uh, changes your direction in some way that fool card is a, is a fresh start um some of you may be moving there could be a new home here with the wealth card this is a ten of pentacles this is prosperity building a new foundation uh starting from scratch some of you may be starting from scratch in a new home saying goodbye to something you guys you guys are saying goodbye to something you're saying goodbye to something that uh just isn't working out. It's not working out. There's a there's a lack of success there. So I do see you guys starting over. 
building. It feels like you're building a new foundation. But there is somebody working against you. There is somebody working against you. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces. could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with an Aries. could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is not on the same page. The, the Three of Wands or the Three of Pentacles reversed. This is lack of teamwork, lack of togetherness. Not on the same page. There's a lack of respect. Somebody doesn't respect you and they're working against you. There's, there's, uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, there's, there's materialistic materialism. There could be somebody that is really focusing on their financial success. You know, um, may have something to do with property, new property. Um, somebody may be leaving behind an emotionally disappointing situation into something more stable, more secure. You know, there's been a lack of success here. It's time to say goodbye and start with a clean slate someplace else. So that's what's going on here. And and I feel like there's some sort of hidden forces that are that are pulling you in a new direction. Or this person. This could be somebody that you're dealing with. Okay? It could be somebody that you live with. Um, there's just a lack of, of growth here. Uh, a lack of togetherness. There's There may be some sort of competition as well. So I see you guys starting with a clean slate, heading towards, you know, um, something. You may be leaving behind one property, you know, one place that you lived or somebody is that you live with and going someplace else. That's what it looks like to me. I got these three cards that fell out. Two of Pentacles reversed. Princess of Wands. And the Queen of Wands reversed. So you do have some news that is coming. Okay, it appears that it is good news. You may have a new suitor or somebody that you live with has a new suitor. This is somebody that they are very well suited for. And this is taking action. So somebody has a new opportunity that is very exciting. But there's uh, a lack of courage or fear. There's fear of the unknown with the Queen of Wands reversed. There could be some sort of uh, unhealthy. We may have somebody here that is unhealthy. They're, they're lacking ambition. They're lacking drive. They're lacking confidence, lacking self-esteem, very worried, depressed. They're not wanting a change. We got, And there could be another woman here that is very forceful, very controlling. So I don't know if you're, or, and I don't know who this person is, but this is a very controlling individual trying to force something. And there's another, there's a bigger, better opportunity. There's something that is better suited, suited. So this is somebody that has been resisting change and they've been in a disharmonious partnership, you know, probably with somebody that is very forceful and controlling. I feel like this is taking action. It's facing fears after letting this person control them. Okay. This is, this is literally, uh, fo refocusing, you know, finding the strength and the courage to um, let go of something. So somebody is letting go of something that is no longer of value to them, but there's going to be some sort of fight. I feel like there's there's somebody here that is jealous, revengeful, vindictive, that may fight it, may fight the change. Um, it could be another woman or another person that is trying to stop somebody from moving on. Um, definitely revengeful. So you have a revengeful, manipulative individual here that is, um, trying to control another person. Um, this person's going to cause problems. This person is going to cause problems or may have, this may be the tower moment, may have caused the tower moment, but everything is, I feel like everything is going to work out in your favor. Okay, I feel like it's going to work out in your favor because this is a blessing in disguise. Now you're going to get something even better or the person that you're dealing with is. Okay, um, this is good news arriving. 
everything happens for a reason. There's there's some sort of tower moment here. I know that there is, and I don't I don't have to have the tower to see it. Somebody has abandoned, you know, another person. Or they are abandoning another person. They were in some sort of illusion. They were in some sort of fantasy. But it's like now, now they just want wish fulfillment. They want happiness. They want a fresh start. There definitely could be a new property. There's somebody working behind your back. This person is bitter. They are revengeful. They are vindictive. And they want to be in control. They are, they are keeping a secret. But I feel like they're going to tell the secret. And they're going to tell the secret because it's revenge. You know, they're trying, they're revengeful, they're hateful. You've got a hateful person here that, um, I feel like this hateful person, uh, doesn't want success, you know, doesn't want you to be successful and it's because they're jealous. And I think they're jealous because of the rejection, you know, um, but with this princess of wands, there is some sort of new opportunity there is you have a new opportunity here that is very exciting um or somebody that you're dealing with does okay we have, we have an exciting opportunity to um bring permanent stability into your life everything happens for a reason all is not as it seems this is a blessing in disguise that something didn't work out that somebody has walked away okay somebody is walking away from an emotionally imbalanced situation where there's been some sort of falseness it's been some sort of illusion you know they're walking away from the illusion they're letting something go that is uh, not practical it's not stable it's uh, unbalanced and they've been they've been staying in that situation because they were fearful of change you know they were fearful of change and but now it's like they're finding their courage i feel like they're finding their courage to start fresh to start over and because they find the courage to do to do so they they and they leave everything behind it's like this is this is literally leaving everything behind and building a new foundation so i do feel like you're building a new foundation after being it feels like manipulated by somebody. There's been some sort of manipulation, whether it's you or, or somebody that you live with, you know. Uh, it could be, it could, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Pisces, Cancer. Um, all is not as it seems. Get prepared. I feel like there's going to be a change in residence here. Um Queen of Wands reversed. This is somebody that is upset, angry, very, very angry, angry over a move or angry over secrets because next to there's some sort of secrets. They're angry over not being accepted, you know, not being accepted not getting what they wanted things aren't working out with this person and i feel like this person is going to reveal something that changes everything it's going to cause upheaval it's going to cause chaos all right but success is here the ten of pentacles is success there's guaranteed success so there will be guaranteed success, even though this person is going to try to cause problems. You're dealing with a liar. You're dealing with somebody that is very manipulative. Wants to be in control. And I feel like you have, or, or, or it's either you or somebody that you're dealing with, or both of you have a better opportunity. It's like you have a new exciting opportunity right here, but this person wants to be in control. So we got somebody here on a power trip. Victory. So this is the Six of Wands reverse. This person is not going to be victorious. There's a lack of victory here. This person has lost something. They've lost. They've been rejected. They want to fight. Six of Wands reversed. Oh. 
unwelcome news. There is some unwelcome news that is coming. I think it's from somebody that you have, I don't know if it's somebody you've been living with. doesn't have to be. Ten of pet, uh, cups reversed. Now this is a dying dream of some sort. End of a relationship. Somebody is very bitter. They are very, very bitter over not being accepted. They are. And they're going to put up a fight. They are going to put up a fight. Could be you. I don't know. Ten of Cups reversed. This is a, an unhealthy or an unhappy relationship. Feels like it's another woman or another person that is very, very jealous. That is going to put up a fight. Over a rejection. But there is some sort of good news that is coming. You're starting fresh. You're starting with a clean slate. Six of Pentacles reversed. Now, the Six of Pentacles reversed is a rejection. Somebody is being rejected. And they want to be in control. There's an abuse of power here. There's a there's somebody that is unwilling. They are unwilling. They're very uh, unbalanced with these sixes reversed. Unstable, insecure, unwilling to change, unwilling to let go. Someone is working behind your back. Very, very controlling individual here. This person is going to reveal a secret out of revenge. But you are protected because of that star card. That is protection. This is a this is this is happening for a reason because you are meant to start with a clean slate. You are meant to leave this behind or somebody is. We do have permanent success here. We do. You have something better. There is something very perfect. This is a perfect opportunity it is. One more card. Four of Pentacles reverse. So there's some sort of letting go. That's letting go, opening up. You can relax. Just relax. You're going to get what you asked for. Just relax, okay? Go with the flow. Just go with the flow. And I know that's hard to say. But I feel like you, you, you need to open up. You need to relax. You need to let, let go of whatever it is. Just let this person go, whoever this person is. Princess of Swords. So Princess of Swords is news arriving. Then we get the Princess of Cups. So we have three princesses here, which is news. There is news arriving. Okay, you're going to be getting some news this week. It may not be news that you want to hear. Somebody's trying to butt their nose in by the looks of things. 
but I also feel like there's other news. There's There could be a lot of news coming in, news from different areas, you know what I mean? There is good news here, but there's also news that makes you feel conflicted, okay? I feel like we definitely have somebody that is up to no good in your reading, and I feel like they are going to speak some sort of truth trying to cause trouble. Okay, this person's going to try to cause trouble, but I feel like you're you're going to prevail. I feel like you're going to um You've obviously been wishing for freedom. Obviously, because this is wishing for freedom, wishing for something else. You're going to get it. You're going to get what you asked for. And there's messages coming in. You're going to be getting a lot of messages this week. There's off, off, there could be new love here, a new exciting opportunity for love for some of you or for whoever you're dealing with. But be prepared for some conflict as well. There's going to be some conflict here. There is absolutely going to be some conflict, but there's also good news. I feel like you have somebody that or you or the person you're dealing with has somebody that they have rejected and this person is not willing to let go. And that's where the problem arises. And this person says something out of revenge, out of spite to cause problems. Good luck.